soon, friends. A strange tale, I have to tell. One that will fill you up with wonder. It's the tale of Sir Lancelot, a young knight in the kingdom of King Arthur, of how he come to fall from grace and cause much displeasure to the aging king. Lancelot, you struggle to bend before your king, I see. I've been on the training ground for many hours. Have you? Do you know why you're summoned here today? Are we going to war, sire? No, it pleases me to say that we are at peace with our neighbours. Then why do you insist on night's training? Learning to fight? Surely it's a waste of everyone's time. Discipline and respect to those knights that have brought peace to our kingdom. I understand. I think your understanding has lessened over the past weeks. Nonsense, Sayo. I respect you and I respect the laws of the kingdom. Respect? What about respect for Sir Galahad? He lies in his bed, fighting for his life, run through by the blade of your sword. Sayo, Galahad is old. His reactions are slow. He is as old as I and deserves the right to grow old without some young upstart ramming a sword through him. Sire, we were engaged in mock battles using long swords. We'll be doing thrusts and counter thrusts. The old man. Sir Galahad. Sir Galahad, he thrust and I parried before launching counter thrusts of my own. The wound is in his back. Do you hear? In his back. You went against the code of conduct. The code? The code of conduct on the field. But I know not of such a code. Why does this not surprise me? Perhaps a spelling confinement will give you time to reflect on the codes of conduct and chivalry. But Sire, Galahad did his a a lesson. Tis you that needs the lesson, Lancelot. Think about what you have done. Your actions could have long-reaching repercussions on your bloodline. England is shaped by you and I. Dwell on this. Respect is a two-way track. God, take him away. Sire. Banishment is on my mind, or even stripping him of his title. His title, sire? Yes. I think the people of Salford may need to find a new knight to represent them in the court of King Arthur. The king was displeased. Young Lancelot was in grave danger. Stupid boy. He was taken to a place of confinement where none could see him or speak to him while the king pondered his fate. None, that is, apart from his loyal apprentice. Oh, where do you think you're going? I bring food and water for my master, Sir Lancelot of Salford. He won't be a sir for long. Hold your tongue. Your master has brought great shame upon himself. Well, he's young and maybe a little headstrong. Well, his head better be strong, because the way he's going, he won't have one for much longer. Do you have no other respect for the knight at the round table? He, he does not respect me or my king. Makes an enemy of me. 
I hear your words. May I please pass? Ye gods! The stomach feels like my throat's been cut. What kept you up? Well, before preparing our food, I had to stable your horse, clean your armour, and apologise for your absence at the gathering of the knights. Join me some food. What of Sir Galahad? Oh, be quiet. Well, if I may be so bold, you're taking a great risk in angering the king. His wrath could be the all undoing. All you've worked towards these past few years. The king is a fool. I see no fool apart from you. Do you not realise what might happen if the king carries out his threat and banishes you? What will become of the hamlet of Salford? I am but one man. Salford will not fall without me. But the people of Salford may fall. They may fall down on hard times. They have no knight to represent them. But all respect within the hamlet could be lost. Maybe forever. Such rubbish I have never heard. I am tired from my exertions. Now I will sit down and get out. Sleep. You should be preparing yourself to face the king. Show him that you are a valiant knight, one who respects the codes of chivalry. Yeah, well, I'll worry about that in the morning. Cold of chivalry. Such a loss of all arse's ass, if you ask me. How our brave knight sleep like a baby, and where that the king is plotting his downfall. If only we could see into the future and see how his bloodline has fared in the centuries since his lack of respect for others landed him in here. I'll never leave home without it. Oh, I need a new one. This one's not fairly good. Get it? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Oh, forget. That's supposed to be Joe. Oh, look out, think the side's gonna split. Where is this place? And who, sir, are you? Who am I? Am I seeing the same thing? This is my house. That's my bed. You better get out or I'll get Billy Baseball back and bash it both round your nappers. Is he a barbarian, sir? Some sort of native. The language is the strange one. Nappers? Right, that's it. What's all the racket, Dad? Keep an eye on them two feet while I get Billy. He's been on that super strength Sean Ryder again. Right, who's first then? Savage, put that thing down before I am forced to disarm you. Listen, pal, no one breaks into Lionel Lancelot's house and gets away with it. Did you say Lancelot? You heard. Yes, I did. This is strange. Where are we? Are you two on drugs or something? Outside. Such a place I've never seen before. Answer the question. Where are we? You're in my house, pal. In Salford. This is not the hamlet of Salford. Not the one I know, anyway. Just shut up and get out. Do you know whom you're addressing? You'll address with your boss. We'll see, mate, if you're not careful. Now get out. Come. Let us do as he asks. I need time to think. Keep moving! Out of the door! I don't try nicking anything! 
You are trying my patience. Have you no respect for the Knight of the Round Table? Just keep going. Don't worry, kids. I've got them covered, you crackpots. Dad, have you lost your mind? You ain't got one to lose. These days he's always drunk. It's been like this ever since our mum left. Dad, there's no one there. What? I don't think they can see us, Lara. Can't you see you? I think you need to have a nice lie down, Dad. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea, eh? Don't you back chat to me like how you feel the back of my hand, you will. What man are you who threatens violence against a child? Mind your own business. This is my house, one I say goes. I'm going, I'm getting my nails done. I'm off. I'm not staying here while you're acting like this. Lillian, go make yourself useful, will you? Go phone the police. Please, Dad, I don't like it when you like this. It scares me. And you've got to stop drinking. It's half ten in the morning. It's true. You really can't see her. I must be losing my mind. Well, uh, I think that makes two of us. Perhaps it would be beneficial for our concern if we're to sit down and discuss this like adults. And so it was that they did talk and Lancelot came to realise that he and his apprentice has been transported into the future to the year 2006, that the once proud Hamlet of Salford has been brought to his knees by fear, hatred and greed. They did also drink a brew, and it was called beer. Oh, and Lancelot did throw up his guts. <laughs> And so, Lara, it was seen that you are my descendants and carrying out my bloodline. If you say so. I've seen the children, but what of the mother? I don't talk about her. She doesn't exist. I is she dead? She packed her bags, left with me three kids. But why? I don't know. Well, you must know. Come, Lara, I don't know how long this spell or whatever it is that has brought us here, is going to last. I want to see what's become of my descendants and Salford. Yes! Kyle, go and get me another can, please. I've only got a five minutes. She's gonna get us McDonald's later. Oh, I forgot. But I want a drink. Well, if you've got a fiver, you might as well get me a can as well. Yeah, get us all one. Right then, if you'll keep us all happy. Muppy, don't know why you let him hang around with us. Seeing his trainers, tramp. Is that right to have round as a Joey? Yeah, well, I was gonna smack him the other day. Getting cocker, making fun of me. Uh. <laughs> Was that supposed to be funny? I thought it was. Yeah, but I mean, do you condone such behaviour? What's up with you? <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Here's your boyfriend. Yeah, right, he looks like he's wet his pants. Is he dancing? Oi, John Travolta, come over here and show us some moves. What's up, love? I'm oh, just the usual. So I've been having a go at you, Gareth. Don't worry about it. Why's the duck's back to me? You think they'd have better things to do? 
Tell me who it was. I've gone over a few words. No, I'm not having this. I'll be the one having a few words. Who was it? Don't worry about it, Mum. The vicious. Yeah, and so am I when the mood takes me. Oh, look, I shouldn't have mentioned that. Just don't get worked up, Mum. You can't see past our noses anyway. If I see her, I'll break a few noses. Look, just chill out, do you know? But what gives them the right to take the mickey out of you? They need a good kicky. And you're the meant to do it, I suppose. Gareth happens to be one of my best mates, and he's also your brother. She used to be backing me up. I won't mow myself to their standards. Hey, hey! Calm down, Gareth's probably right. They're just not worth the effort. What's happened? It's a veritable war zone out there, Sheila. You better come in. Hey, I know who you are, you little so and sos. Give us your coat, I'll give it a sponge. In. Thank you, you're the same so you are, Sheila. What's all this screaming about? I think your friends have been using Father Milo for target practice. And good shots they are, too. When it comes to something when a priest has to put up with that. I'd put it down to you for exuberance, Sheila. I put it down to lack of respect. It's bang out of order. Well, fun and games, Christopher, no harm done. I'll give them fun and games if I get out there. Now, now, violence is never the answer. Can I get you a cup of tea, Father? That'd be grand. Mum, can I have a fiver? More money? What for now? We're going to the pictures with Kyle and Lisa. The same and Lisa and Kyle that I've been giving your Gareth grief about his disability. You're not knocking around with that lot, are you? Who else can I knock about with? I thought no better are you, Jenna. They give your brother a stick every time he walks out that door and you condone it. Perhaps your mother is right, Jenna. And who asked you? <gasps> Don't you dare talk to Father Milo like that. Show some respect, girl. You don't show me any respect. That's because you're a sad, desperate cow. What do you think Lisa Lancelot shows you any respect, sis? It's because you're bottom and you're not there. Thank you. Say so, sir. Yeah, I heard her say that you're going to be a gimp like me. Gareth, you're not a gimp. Yeah, she said as soon as you start limping, you'll be dead. She's no one to want to know you. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm off. You can shove that money where the sun don't shine. That's it. Go run into your grubby little mates. Oh, I am sorry about this, Father. What can I do for you? It's all right, Sheila. It's not true. It's the boys have come to see. I need some work doing in the church, as it were. What's the money like? Christopher? <clears throat> it depends what it involves, Father. Uh, just a couple of hours a week. Will I be do able to do it sitting down? Uh, mostly. Sitting down sounds good to me. What is it, Father? Uh, I'm looking to recruit altar boys. Is it something I said? So we your face? No, it's just that... Just put it out then. I thought we were going pictures. We are doing straight after we baptised Father Milo with eggs. Hasn't he had enough? It's a laugh. Not for him, it's not. He's a priest. So what? It's got what's covered in it. And not exactly George Armani, is it? Come on, let's get ready for him. What you don't hit Jenna's windows, though? What you don't hit Jenna's windows, though? Come on, get down. Come on, who did it? I'll have every one of you! Not so smart now, are you? What have you done to him? I ain't touch him. You've just hit him. No, we never. I saw it. John was just running and he went down. Lisa, let me through, please. I can no, help. No, get away just from let me. Through, him. Please. No. I, can I can help. What's going on here? What's going on? John's collapsed and he's not breathing. Please help him, please. He knows what he's doing. If only we could help. Alright, why don't you try and help? What? Kiss the blow? Mm. I despair. Really, I do. And so should you. Bloke? The ambulance is on his way. Good work, son. Good work. <coughs> is he gonna be alright? God willing, he will. Gareth, what you did then, that was brilliant. It could have died if it hadn't been for you. Good work, son. Good work. Oh, 
thought that could have turned out nasty. The young boy showed courage. Maximum respect. Do you think our good Sir Lancelot is getting the message? Not the brightest star in the sky, is he? What was that? Oh yeah, say hello to your granddad. Where's Curtis anyway? He's late again. Talking about me? Yeah, where's he been? Me and my watch broke. You only owed me that one. And I'm here now anyway. What are you doing wearing blue? Right, my mum put my black trackie in the wash. What could I do about it? You only always wear black because we're the black knights. Yeah, I know. What were you? Me, my old man. What about him? Drink, drunk, defunct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lads, make way for the old folks. We've got a wager on this game. We were here first. Come on, chaps. Chaps, what are you on about? Be careful, lads, if you don't mind. You're going to hurt somebody. We do mind. Yeah, get out of the way, Grandad. You're the ones mouthing it off. Do one. Lads, we don't want any trouble. We're asking nicely. Yeah, and you've been told nicely. Get off the pitch. OK, we need to inform the steward. Go on, grass us up and see what happens. It's not about grassing. It's about the grass. You're going to ruin it. Come on, mate. Mate, what are you on about? Do you know who you're talking hey, to? do you know who you're talking to? Just an old clapping Luke is very quick to rise to a challenge. Is he not? Yep. Yeah. Remind you of anyone? Not a million miles away. He brought it upon himself. No one gets away with dis dissing our Luke. Dissing him? Pray tell. Disrespecting him. Our Luke's got models. <sighs> Sire, I cannot sit by and watch this farce unfold. Everything we stand for, it's been destroyed right in front of your very eyes. My words are unheard. My actions are unseen. I am invisible to them all. To them you might be, but not to Lara. Lara? Hello? Anyone there? Oh, forget it. You should show some respect for your elders. He should show some to me. Respect is a two-way thing. Don't you know that Mr King fought in the war for you lot? Are you drunk, mate? Drunk? Yeah. Am I drunk? Billy, leave it. It's not worth it. Let them play their game and we'll come back another time for ours. No, you won't, because when we finished, it'll be wrecked. Yeah, let's dig up and wreck it. That's sad. Very sad. You're the yeah. sad one, old man. Hey, you! Don't walk away from me. I know where you live. You'll be sorry. Teach me what, young man? Don't get in my way, or else. Well, go on, go out and shut the door after you. I'm gonna throw these stupid medals in here, well, how'd you like that? If it makes you happy, young man, then do it. I told you, be sorry, no one makes a fool out of me. Is that what all this is about? You disrespect me in front of me, mate. You show me up. I've shown you up. Respect is a two way thing, young man. Is it a fight you want? No. Do you want to fight me? No, don't be stupid. You're an old man. Exactly. I fought too many battles in my time to be hurt by somebody like you. Now get out. I won't hit you. I won't do something like that. Honest. Look, if I try to stop you, it'll all end in tears. You'll spend the best years of your life behind bars. I couldn't live with that. Take what you want. Look, why don't you sit down and we'll try and sort this mess out.
by the gods. I thought he was going to strike the man. The old man who fought in many battles. What? Don't look at me. Lara, are you proud of your son? Do you look at him and think, I am proud of what I've produced? Oh yeah. Blame me. I'm not the one who walks out with the three kids. No one blames Lyndon or has a go at her. If you like? No. <laughs> you seem to be getting taller. No, it's you. You're shrinking. Oh, Mom? Yes, babe? When are you coming home? When your father starts behaving like a human being. But it's affecting him really bad. He misses you loads. I mean, he's even started talking to himself. Well, that's because he's not got me there to scream and shout anymore, Lily. Oh, but we miss you and all. Come on. I can't, my love. But why? Because your father's worn me out, Lily. And I'm not going to live the rest of my life as a doormat. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I love you. And Luke. And Lisa. But we'll not live in a house with a man who's got no respect for me. And it pains me to see that your brother and sister are turning out just like him. Well, he's got no respect for anyone. Not even himself. Exactly. And if a 13-year-old girl can see that, then why can't a grown man? A wonderful, beautiful and intelligent 13-year-old girl must have that. Sonny, I'm late. What for, miss? Not a lot. Why are you late? Well, I'll just say my mum. She back with your dad then? No. Ah! What? Oh my god. <laughs> um. Can we put that away, please? Aww. Right, ladies, we've got a lot to get through today, yeah? As you know, our play is a modern day version of the Knights of the Round Table. Which is a really stupid idea. Why? Because we're all girls. It's an all-girl fair group, idiot. How can we be nice? Duh! <laughs> she has a point. A woman's place in the home, knights are their protectors. Hmm. You're a bit out of day, aren't you, mate? Women have come a long way since your day. You've never heard of the suffragettes. That's rich coming from you. Jester. Where's the jester? Every play has a jester. Sulfur you know so Jets? What's that got to do with us? It's a legend. I've had a gang of mates and they used to meet round a table. What, for Dick? Oh, Aya, uh, come in. Right, I want to introduce you to somebody. Hello, everybody. My name's Kerry and um, for the next six weeks, I'm going to be working on the Knights of the Round Table with you. I'm going to take you back to medieval times, to the time of the court of Camelot. And I want you to meet the characters that we find there. Garwain, Galahad, Lancelot. To get inside the characters and see what it was like to really be them. OK, let's start with a little light warm-up, shall we? Come on, let's shake those limbs loose. I think she's already got something loose. Sire, the night is closing in. I think we should be going. Going? Going where? From whence we came, somehow. Hold your horses. I want to see how my bloodline performs. Yes, a play in my honour. Tis good. And so after that, it was a bit of free for all. Mortars going off, sheen guns, bombs, you name it, they used it. I bet you were scared. <laughs> I need new trousers, put it that way. War sounds pretty bad. War's our hell loot. That's why I didn't want to war with you. You see, nobody really ever wins. And you were just going to let me walk out the door with all them medals. And me, the scum that I am, was going to do it. I'm really sorry, Mr King. Really sorry. Let's forget about it, shall we? But I didn't see. All these medals. I should be treating you with respect, not robbing you. You fought in wars, risk your life. I'm here to tell the tale. Not like some of my pals. 
God bless them. I want to do something to make it up to you. No, there's no need, lad. But I want to. Take that, you card, Sir Lancelot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lillian should be Sir Lancelot. Because she's called Lancelot. Oh, that is true, actually. Well, I'm not by the witch part of play. That's the way it should be. There are no small roles, only small actors. Well done, Lillian. Swat. Shut up. Why do I have to be a scruffy peasant? They call it being typecast. Watch your mouth, you. Oh, what? Oh. I've got my fist in it. Oh, oh here they go again. Oh, my. You have to start, don't they? I mean, come on, girls, it's not supposed to be like this. You're supposed to be working together. Why don't we try some improvisation? No. I'll give it a go. Can I be the Queen of England? <laughs> Can we come together and focus? <laughs> Lillian, is your name really Lancelot? Yeah, it is. That's interesting. Ooh, how very interesting. Maybe she's related to the Great Knight himself. Shut up. Did you hear that? The Great Knight? That's me she's talking about. Really? Shh. Okay, what's she saying? I looked it all up on the internet. Boring. Shh. Shut up. Right. S Sir Lancelot was a knight at the court of King Arthur. He was only a boy when the king took him under his wing, but his skills as a swordsman and his acts of bravery and chivalry saw him quickly become one of the king's most trusted men. What chivalry? It's a bit like chivalry. There's no such thing. It's the art of being a chap, which is what you are. Why are you such a bitch? Because you get on my nerves, you chap. Shut up. I'm Quiet! Not a chap. Can we let Kat and Lillian finish, please? Go on, my lad. Well, there are several acts of chivalry, and they make up what is known as the old code. Tell us then. Well. I don't know, Ma, but there's loyalty, humility, faith, nobility. What does that all mean? Well, basically it means that we should look after each other, be generous, value each other's opinions and respect each other. Brilliant. Well, Is that really my daughter saying all that? At last. A descendant that truly holds dear some values. Sir Lancelot was a knight who lived his life according to the codes of chivalry. He respected his friends and his elders, and earned the respect of all his fellow knights and King Arthur. I think she swallowed the dictionary. Do not mock her, Lara. Your daughter is wise, and I think I understand why I've been sent here. <laughs> Do you know what? Ah, Lillian's right. I've been a fool. Taking people for granted. Expecting them to respect me. You've got to earn respect, boys. Boys? Boys? Dad? Hi, babe. What are you doing here? I, I thought I'd just come on and see how you was getting on. Yes, really. And you know what? Me, your brother, and your sister are going to be sat on the front row on your opening night. Oh, Dad. Oh, I think that's a wrap, girls. Come on. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that was brilliant, Paris. Oh, that nearly brought a tear to my eye. Oh, don't cry, Merlin. I'm so. Do you think our Lancelot has really learned his lesson? 
Will he wake up a reformed character? Would Larry see the light? How would I know? Watch and find out. That was a bit nasty. So? Nasty pasta. But you're a nice magician. Hey, I am mostly. But come on, nobody's perfect. Right, stay near me, Linda. I won't let near you lose it. Don't worry, it's bad for this and by. Oh, she's got nothing to say to you, so on your bike. Pat, can stop a moment with Linda. Tell him to sling his hook. Linda, just a minute, please. You are come, Pat, catch you up. You forgot why you left him. If it's about money, I've got none. No, it's not. Listen, I've been doing some thinking. You bang on the head, have you? You might say that. Anyway, I've come to my senses. And I've been thinking about me and about you and our kids. Thinking what? Thinking that I've been a fool. Swanning around, expecting everyone to bow down to me. Well, you wipe your feet all over us. It's true. And I'm sorry. Sorry for not showing you the respect that you deserve, treating you like a doormat. Did you just say sorry? It's the first time you've ever said that word to me. I'll not only say it to you. I'll show it you. How, Larry? Cat! 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 He's got loads of medals. Hey. So, what, was he in the war or something? Yeah. Sounds like good. Dangerous. He's been all over the world and he showed me shrapnel wounds in his leg. He sounds really brave. Dad, are you okay? I told you something funny had happened to him. This isn't funny. This is serious. Hi, kids. Tea's in the oven. You've made our tea. Are you on medication or something? Lisa, I am eye on life, my love. Now hurry up. We've got a special guest coming here tonight. A, a guest. guest. Lancelot, have you had time to reflect? Sire, I'm not worthy to gaze upon your face. Is this the same Sir Lancelot that not a day since was shouting the odds? Sire, before you was a changed man, a different man. What has brought about this sudden change? Sire, I did spend last night in some sort of dream or trance, but in all this, I am repentant for my actions. I am sorry I dished you. Dist. Disrespected you, sire. If only I could believe. Sire, if I may be so bold. Carry on. Sire, I was by my master's side all th throughout the night. He is sorry and he begs for your forgiveness. He realises that he has been a fool, an idiot, and that he has disgraced himself. Hey, steady on. That he has a lot to learn, sire. He's willing to lay down his life for you, should you ask. A fine speech, young squire. You are a credit to your master. Sire, my master has taught me all I know. And I've learned a lot from my squire. In the light of what I have heard, I would be inclined to put this saga behind us. My liege. Evening. You know what? You look absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for coming. Thanks for asking. Can I take your coat? And they say that chivalry's dead. Mm. And these. 
Oh, Larry, the gorgeous. First thing never bought me flowers. Thank you. I understand how Mum felt now. I ran in, when I ran into her today, she explained everything to me. And it was really weird seeing Dad at the theatre. He was really changed. It was strange how he was acting. I reckon it'll work this time, you know. What do you think? I hope so. I mean, look at me. Look at all I've been through, Mr King. And if I can do it, I'm sure he can. I know, so do I. I mean, look at me and Gareth. One minute I'm sat there calling him in the street. And the next minute we're best of friends. You know what? It will work. You know why? Because we'll help him, and together we'll make it work. May your actions be honourable. May your sword be true. May your deeds be remembered. Arise, sir. What's your name, by the way? Ferguson. My name is Ferguson. Arise, Sir Ferguson, de Trafford Park. What about my knighthood? What do I get? Nothing. Don't be like that, Merlin. We all know your magic transported them to the future. And anyway, you can't be a magician and a knight at the round table. That's just being greedy. You're right. I'd rather be a magician any day, cos we can do things just like this. That's magic. <laughs>